Hey there, how are you doing today? And welcome to the Automation Framework Development with Selenium C-Sharp course. And in this video, we'll be talking about deployment of our employee app version 1.0 in Internet Information Server of our machine. So this is the video which I have not released while I released this course, but since so many questions came up once I released this course that how to install or how to deploy the employee application in our IS I just created this video so this video is for you guys so let's not waste our time and flip to our Firefox so as you can see this is my local host and here's my employee app version 1.1 and you can see that I can easily navigate to the employee list and go to the login page and I can do everything well how is this really working behind the scenes so if you go to my C colon inet pop ww root and you can see there is my code or there is my application where it is actually loading up all my informations like this so how is my internet information server is actually looking like so you can go to the run and go to the inet mgr which is nothing but the internet information server manager and here it brings up things for you and since this is my server operating system and i have a ad which is nothing but my active directory which is ea and here you can see I have a sites and here is my default website and you can see that I have my employee application and this is my PF service which is nothing but my providential fund service which is also running behind the scenes in my application so it is deployed actually so how is this deployment happened into my internet information server well that's the question so how to deploy this I have actually created a very very simple fairly very simple publish profile in my application since I'm not really shipping the source code of the execute auto employee application along with this course the only thing I'm publishing or the only thing I'm shipping is actually the release version of my application so I have actually created a release version opposed to the one that you used to see in your writing a simple code with selenium in the download you see this employee application as a zip file which is a very very plain zip file which if you extract will bring you up this files which you see in the www root uh, some people are getting some problems and hiccups to really make this thing working I have created a very very simple published profile as well so how to install this release version of the application in your internet information server well you need to actually take care of two things the first thing is the database if you go to my database and if you see here I have a database called employee DB and here are the tables which is required for my employee app version 1.0 it has the employees benefits some of the credential stuffs and some of the user stuffs great so actually how do I deploy this and how do I deploy this database of course of course you don't have to really care anything about it what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very very clean installation and you can see that I have a release folder and this is the only files which I'm going to ship in that particular location I'm going to replace this particular zip file and I will be replacing the release file now and also I'll be creating a separate section for the deployment of the employee application in our course so that you will see a separate section where you can also see the zip file of the release.deploy.cmd so all these release version of our application will be available in there so once you extract that zip file you'll see these files uh, put it in any folder you want to and what I'm going to basically do is I'm just going to go and open a command prompt there as an administrator and I'm just going to install this so before installing that I'm just going to delete some of the files from my machine so I'm gonna to go to the www root and I'm gonna just delete all these files so your machine is going to be pretty much like this uh, the www root is going to be empty maybe with some files related to the inter internet information servers homepage and then let's see if I go to my homepage and if I access the website basically it's not going to give you anything rather it's going to give you a information saying there is no content in the directory which is great 
and I'm going to delete the employee DB as well. So let's right click and delete this. And you can close all the existing connections. Great. So I have deleted all the uh, database and the files. So right now my, in my SQL server, there is nothing, right? You can see that very clearly. Great. And also make sure that you create a mixed mode authentication user for your uh, SQL server, which is pretty helpful because we're going to really deal with that. You, if you don't really know what is the mixed mode authentication, if you install the SQL server, you'll see that there is a Windows authentication and there is a SQL server authentication or a mixed mode authentication. So I actually have a login called EA and I actually have a cool password. And if I try to connect this, you can see that I can connect to my database server. So this is exactly what you have to do. You can create a user under the security login and you can create a user here. Right. So these are some of the housekeeping operation before you start deploying the application into your Internet Information Server. Right. So now we have a clean SQL Server and we have a clean www root. Right. Nothing else is here. And you can see that it's pretty plain and empty. All I'm going to do is just run a very, very fairly simple command, which is nothing but release.deploy.cmd. And if you do a T slash T, and if you just hit enter, what it basically do is it just tests the file whether they are pretty correct or not. So actually my release version is pretty correct. It is, it has no exception or errors. So it's just running pretty fine. So I'm just going to change this to slash Y, which is nothing but the installation. And if you want to really see what are the commands available for this release dot deployment, deploy dot CMD, just hit enter and you can see there is a notepad coming in. And you can see the different options available for the usage of the deployment. Well, of course, you don't really have to care about it. Only thing you have to deal with, deal with is this. The release.deployment.cmd slash y and hit enter. So this will basically deploy all the files into your www root. And you can see that it has copied all the files. And if you go to the www root, you can see the new files coming in. Awesome. So how is the database? Are we going to really uh, deploy the database manually into the SQL server? Mm, of course not. I don't want to really make you guys uh, into pain. Just go to this uh, Firefox and I just hit enter and you'll see the magic happens. It will basically take some time since it has to deploy or maybe create a database into your SQL server. So that's why it's taking some time. So now you see the application up and running. That's great, right? And you can see that we can navigate to the employee list and we can just go to the login and just log into the application as an admin, go to the employee details and you can go to the manage users and whatever you want to. So everything just works fine as expected. And let's see how the database looks like now. And if I go to the database, you can see that my employee DB is automatically created. I did not even create that. The reason is I actually wrote the application in such a way that the initial create or maybe the configuration of my application will automatically seed the informations or the data for my application in it. So it automatically creates some of the role for my application like administrator, user and guest. And also it creates or seeds some of the informations like the name, the salary, durations, emails, and all those stuff. So these are the informations that you are actually seeing in the application while you go to the employee list. So you can do whatever you want to do. So you can edit it and you can do whatever you want to. So the fully blown application is up and running in your internet information server. So this is how you can easily deploy your application into your IIS. And there is one more small tweak that you need to do because as you can see, into my ww root there is a web.config file and here it actually has my database username and password so you can see it has my database username and password something like this but of course this is something that you need to change so any user name that you create maybe sa and you have like abc123 or whatever you want to do so all these informations will be actually available right here right so this is what is the very very simple way that you can deploy your application into your internet information server so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and let me know if you really have some more questions thank you